Hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel Talking to God with Noin. My name is Noin Eze. I've been doing okay and trust you all are fine. Today we'll be talking about three signs that you are going to hell. I'll be right back. Welcome back. There is heaven and there's also a place called hell. Let's quickly see the book of Hebrew chapter 9 verse 27. And it says, And as it is appointed unto men, once to die, but after this, the judgment. Like I said, there is heaven and there is hell. I would want to go to heaven and I would want you to go to heaven. Hell is not a place to behold. Hell is full of pains. Hell is for gnashing of the teeth. Hell is for weeping that knows no end. God's love doesn't dwell in hell, neither is God's goodness. Today, Salmon of Hell is hardly preached in our churches. And I wonder why. When we were growing up, if we can remember, it's always Salmons of Heaven and Hell. And everyone was so conscious of not falling short of God's glory. But today, what kinds of Salmons do we hear in our present churches? 10 ways to get rich quickly. 5 quick ways to make money. Easy way to riches. These are the kinds of sermon we hear in our present day churches. The preaching and teaching of hell is like an abomination. And before you know it, youths are beginning to follow the quick way to make money instead of being conscious of heaven and hell. If we decide to do a census today, you'll find out that 90% of youths today are not mindful of eternity. All they are after is material things. Will you blame them? What do they hear in church? What are your pastors preaching? What are you teaching? Our Lord Jesus Christ did not go through those pains. For eternity, heaven and hell not to be preached in churches. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not go through the agony on the cross just for you to get rich quick. Our Lord Jesus Christ was not crucified just for you to be so desperate for money. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ paid the price so that you and I can have an eternal life. A life full of happiness. A life without stress and weeping. Let's put aside these earthly riches. Let's put aside our desperation. It's time we focused on eternity. It's time we focused on making heaven. Because hell is not an option. We are all gradually moving into an appointment that we cannot control. So you can imagine yourself to know if you will be going to heaven or hell let's quickly move to the three signs that you may be going to hell sign number one ignoring jesus christ as the only way to heaven let's quickly see john chapter 10 verse 9 and it says i am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find peace our Lord Jesus Christ is the door. If you ignore him as your access to heaven, then you are going to hell. If you put away all our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done for us, how he suffered these persecutions because of us, and you put him away, you don't see him as the door and the only way to heaven, then you are a wicked person. Let's quickly see Ephesians chapter 2. 8 and 9. Wherefore, I beseech you, that ye would confirm your love toward me. For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. What is this Bible passage telling us? That you have to confirm your love toward our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the only way. So ignoring him will be leading you to hell. I also want to let you know, that mortality cannot take you to heaven. No matter how great you are, 
it cannot take you to heaven. The only way to heaven is knowing that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the way. Sign number two. Living a life that is exactly the same as before you were saved. You said you have given your life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you are still living the same life that you were living before you accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Some think they'll be going to heaven when there is no change. Once you accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit takes over you. Your character ought to change. The things you do before, you are supposed to automatically drop them. You are supposed to drop them at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as soon as you accept him as our Lord and personal Savior. But some persons kneel down, accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. As they are getting up, they are rising with same attitude, same character, nothing at all to show that this person has accepted Christ. You call yourself a born-again Christian and you still tell lies, you cheat, you're still battling and fighting with fornicating, living the same life that you were living before you accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a sign that you will be going to hell. You'll see some born-again Christians, they call themselves born-again Christians, committing sin. And when you point it out to them, they, they start quoting scriptures just to justify themselves. Scattering the scriptures, turning it here and there just to justify themselves. Thereby, living the same life that they were living before they said they have accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's see the book of 2 Corinthians 13, 5. And it says, Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. The Bible said, examine yourself. Not just telling yourself, they called an altar call, and I have gone out, I have renounced the devil, I am now a child of God. Examine yourself. The book of 2 Corinthians 13, 5 is telling you to examine yourself. Look into yourself. Have you dropped those old lives? Accepting Jesus Christ is pulling the garment of sin off your body. So let's examine ourselves today. Examine yourself. How are you? All things ought to be passed away the moment you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. It will be leading us to sign number 3. And it says, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and warmongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Sign number three. When you don't believe, there is hell. It's in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 8. That if you fall in these things that has been listed here, in quotes, sinner, if you are a sinner, you will be consumed in the lake of fire, a fire that has no end, a fire that you and I would never want to experience. Why on earth will you believe that there is no hell? You believing that there is no hell is a sign that you are going to hell because you will not be conscious of sin. When you say there is no hell, you live a reckless life. When you say there is no hell, you become boastful. When you say there is no hell, you become scornful. When you say there is no hell, you begin to tell lies, backbite, you become a murderer, a sorcerer. It's been listed in the word of God. And they are all sin against God. I'm here to tell you, hell is real, whether you believe it or not. As heaven is real, so is hell. If God shows us a little picture of hell, I bet you, you will never go back to sin. 
Let's not wait for him to show us that picture. I have read the scriptures to you. Hell is like a second death. According to Revelation 21 verse 8. How can you die here on earth and you have a second death waiting for you over there? I urge you this day, seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing will be added unto you. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. These three signs ought to make you to go back to a sober reflection. You, do you tell yourself there is no hell? Do you doubt that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven? Are you still living the same life as when you were still in the world? Look into these three signs. Ask God to have mercy upon you. You still have a second chance. You listening to me is an opportunity to give your all to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forsake sin. Say no to sin. Hell is not a place we ought to behold. Hell is not a place. It's a place of gnashing of teeth. It's a place of weeping. Where weeping lasts forever. I beg you this day. We all are walking towards perfection. But let's be conscious of sin. God does not behold sin. Sin can take you to hell. Let me stop here. God bless you. May the Lord give you the grace. May the Lord give me the grace. So that when he comes, or when our time is up on earth, we'll meet him in glory. Thank you. Stay blessed. Are you new to this channel? Please click on the like and the subscribe button to get more notifications. Drop your comments. If you have prayer points, I'm here to hold hands with you and call upon God. You could also share this video to your friends as you will be helping someone. God bless you. Stay glued to this channel for more videos. Bye.